Hey guys, what's up? Ants Canada here. Um, as you know, all our ants are hibernating right now. And uh, I wanted to show you guys what hibernating ants look like. Now I just took these guys out of the fridge. Remember, if you are going to put them into the fridge, put it on low setting. Um, and by low setting, I mean uh, like warmer than usual. You don't want them to freeze. Now, uh, the thing I found interesting was that some of these ants pretty much like here is a Campanotus pensylvanicus when I took them out of the fridge they were curled up in, almost like in fetal position and I thought they were dead but no they were actually hibernating uh, when ants hibernate they pretty much curl up and they kind of crumple up as if they're dead gave me a scare for a bit but They've been out now for five minutes, and so they're starting to warm up, and they're uh, starting to go back to normal. It seems the formica, see these formica? The formica stay the most act active in the cold. I'm um, going to look for an example of ants that were curled up. See, see these here? If you look here. These ants look like they're dead. The queen's moving, but see those workers? They're all curled up. Don't be fooled. They're not dead. They're alive. How do I know this? Because if you look carefully at one, you can see that the legs are actually not crumpled in, but they're kind of open, and they're moving. They wriggle their legs. Another few minutes and these workers will be able to uh, thaw out, I guess. Um, that was Laceus. Let's see here. We've got a Crematogaster queen here. Campanatus Noveborakensis. Come on. Ooh, my nails are dirty with all the cement sorry guys Ig ignore my thumb ignore my thumbnails they're dirty because of uh, mixing the soakstone material for your nests so. formica fusca Starting to wake up. Look at this colony here. See how these tetramorium look like they're dead? They're actually not. See, they're all starting to wake up now. Including the queen. When I took this colony out of the fridge, they were all crumpled up. They looked like they were dead, but they had me fooled. See. They are in fact alive. Now I normally would be using a test tube portal here, but I'm trying to conserve conserve space in my storage bin here. See that? These guys still have to wake up. They're gonna thaw out though. Ants have glycerol in their hemolymph that acts as an antifreeze and they kind of retreat to underground during the winter where it's you know a little warmer. Um, some ants actually stay above ground. Um, 
you know, like carpenter ants that live in wood, in trees and tree stumps, that's all above ground. So um, ants like that pretty much have to take the negative 35 degree weather. You know, leptothorax, ants like that, some formica as well. Let's check up on that uh, Campanatus pennsylvanicus colony here. See, see this colony here? See that queen? It looks like she's dead. When I pulled these, this colony out of the fridge, they were all like her. But no, she's alive. See those antennae moving? In a few minutes, these uh, ants will be back to normal. Such a miracle, you know? The whole process of hibernation, and that's, uh, it's really a miracle. Let's have a look at the Campanatus colony now. It's been about 10 minutes. See? The queen is thawing out. She was clutching onto her eggs. See that newly eclosed worker as well? Isn't that amazing? It, uh, it closed while in hibernation so you know you would think that all activity would cease but in some colonies activity continues still anyway hope you enjoyed just peeking at the ants in hibernation young colonies and stuff Please subscribe to our videos and uh, spread the ant love.